Chad, that was some uh, pretty fancy fly-in. Thank you. Very impressive. Thanks, Doug. How did you get started in the hobby? So I started in uh, 1990 when I was 13 years old. So I've been at it for 24 years, I guess, just about. Just was flying model rockets before that, you know, and going to the hobby store and picking up rockets and saw the planes and learned to fly. I did a bit of Quickie 500 racing. Got into competition, I guess, through that. And then in 1994, went to the Nationals in Brandon out in uh, Manitoba. And for the first time, flew pattern. And I got really hooked into that. And I really been competing seriously in pattern uh, ever since then. Tell us a little bit about your jet, this fancy machine. So this is the Seabart Avanti S, uh, distributed by Seabart RC USA out of the US. It's powered by a KingTech 140G uh, turbine, guided by Futaba 18MZ uh, with fast uh, telemetry and S-Bus system in it, right? So yeah. all the servos are controlled by S-Bus. It's uh, basically a sport aerobatic jet, predominantly for precision aerobatics for jets. Uh, it'll do, you know, wild aerobatics, tumbles and, and yeah. things like that. You can get it in a thrust vectoring system as well, so you can do hovering and yeah. flat vectoring. spins and all kinds of different maneuvers as well. You compete with this. I don't compete with this plane, I do compete with uh, pattern airplanes though. Do you? Yeah, oh, that's okay. my primary focus in RC is, is precision aerobatics and yeah. I've been to seven world championships for Canada in pattern. So this is just a fun extra hobby. This is a little <laughs> bit of a, a breakaway for me, um, mainly always for uh, the last 20 years of flying RC I've focused on pattern um, and competed in that, like I say, all over the world at, at pretty high levels. So I really wanted to get into to turbines and thought this would be probably the, the best jet for me because it's, it's fairly aerobatic and it's, it's quite capable, right? Very stable, easy to fly, wow. lands slow, just locked in, just flies like a really big pattern airplane about three times the speed. When you're coming over top of the runway here, how fast do you think you're going? I said about 250k. 250 kilometers an hour. It's yeah. fast enough, I would say. <laughs> it's plenty fast, yeah. You're covering a lot of ground. You're not really looking too far ahead of the plane because yeah. you're trying to keep your eye on it and exactly where it's going. So yeah. five minutes of flying is, is plenty for me. <laughs> So I'm running on Jet A right now. Jet A. Uh, okay. The turbine will run on kerosene, but it'll also run on diesel as well. It'll run on diesel. Yeah, yeah, it will run on diesel. Jet A is probably the cleanest burning of yeah. of the three fuels, you know, and and cost wise, a little more expensive than diesel, but a little less, it's more, less, little cheaper than running kerosene. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. From what we just saw here, what's the most difficult move? The knife edge, probably. It, it, it's not nearly as stable as, say, a, a real aerobatic plane, a knife edge. Yeah. So you do have to spend a bit of time getting the mixes adjusted quite correctly, you know, because you are pretty much in full rudder and you got to have the right amount of speed. And yeah. So that's when you're flying low in knife edge, it's, there's definitely a, a high level of risk there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah with the jet. Yeah. Right, and, uh, and you were pretty low too. Yes. <laughs> The smoke is a separate system completely. That's right, yeah. It's an integrated tank, uh, one fuel tank with a compartment for jet A yeah. and a compartment for smoke and two separate fuel pumps all hooked into the radio so you can switch the smoke system on and off, right? And it just basically dumps smoke fuel right in behind the turbine. The exhaust is about 500 degrees Celsius and it just vaporizes Just vaporizes it, it right like that. Chad, thank you so much. Thanks, Doug. Really yeah, appreciate great. it. Great, thanks. Yeah. Nice talking with you. Thank you.